It's homecoming for the Marina High School Vikings. It's a big game for the football team, but the players aren't the only ones hoping to end the night victorious. I'm nervous, anxious, every feeling in the world. Cassidy Lynn Campbell is one of five students in the running for homecoming queen. She's the school's first transgender teen nominated to the court. Up until this year, she lived life as Lance Campbell. Fellow students have been supportive, and many of them have voted for Cassidy to be this year's homecoming queen. She's the only one that I know that's been a transgender, and it would be pretty awesome. I think it's really cool how like we allowed her like to run, and I just think it's a really good thing. And the winner, Cassidy Lynn Campbell. Cassidy received the most votes to earn the crown, a crown she didn't think was within reach, but now wears with her head held high. I wasn't doing this for me. I was doing this for so many others, so many others around the nation. I never would have thought in my lifetime that I'd see this, and it's wonderful. She really did it. Cassidy says she's dealt with some negativity since she decided to run for homecoming queen. She says it's all fueled by ignorance. They think that I'm just a boy doing this for fun, and I'm just a boy dressing up as a girl and trying to win a crown, when that is completely the opposite of what it is. You know, I have always seen myself as a girl. She hopes her courage will inspire other transgender teens to live life without hiding who they are. This could help one child or more, you know, or hundreds or thousands or millions, then it was more than worth it.